Hey, three, two, one. Hey, wizards, it's Kieran Trollcaller. And we are back for another episode of the Myth Walkthrough. And I hope everybody is doing great. I am back, and some things have happened because I've been knocking out some side quests. And guess what, guys? Time's for a stats update to kind of show you exactly where I'm at right now. So I am level 48, and that means some magic is going to happen. And, you know, let's just go ahead and just jump down. I got 175 gold, 1,000 gold. Um, let's see here. Nothing's really changed with my damage or my um, resistance at all. It's all the same. Accuracy is still, accuracy still 14%. Critical rating still at 10. In and out healing still the same. I still have that 3% stun resistance from my jewels. And I've got my power pips up to 72%. That is an increase right there, by the way. But more important than that, I got called by Ambrose for my level 48 spell. Now, this is significant. So we're stopping everything to go ahead and at least get the quest. We may not be able to reach the area yet for it, but oh, we're going to get the quest. This is my most challenging student. Oh, yeah. So good of you to grace the classroom with your presence. Give us the information. If you're interested in advancing your magical studies beyond your current capacities, yes. yep, yep, you yep. would do well to pay attention. Today's lesson is about the mythic yes. beast known Orthrus as time. Orthrus. A two-headed dog that is brother to Cerberus. Uh -huh. A three-headed dog. Both were birthed okay, by the both monstrous, monstrous creature known as Typhon. Okay, so good so far, Cyrus. Give us the rest. Your next spell is to learn to summon that mighty beast. Yahoo! This is no minor task. And to ready yourself for it, you must accomplish several difficult labors to demonstrate your uh, worthiness. I figured. First, though, you must learn more about Orthrus. Your homework assignment okay. is to prepare a So we have to go talk to um, Harold here. As always, research is your ally. Ask the librarian, Harold Argleston, to aid you. To the library, then, and come back here when you've got the book. Okay, guys, it is research time. Let's go talk to our buddy Harold Eggston, and we're going to go ahead and get this information going. Now, again, just as a reminder, if you are new to the channel, um, or should I say new to the series, this is all myth all the time. This is the myth walkthrough, and we start back at level zero. We went through the entire tutorial to get through everything and we've been like just knocking out every main quest as well as every myth quest because it's all about myth hello there young wizard yes sir it's always good to see even our more advanced uh -huh. students paying more attention to well, the fundamental of education good Reading. good good how can i help you hmm. a book about two-headed authors yep 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 is that it right there that'll be a challenge indeed Oh. See, all of the bestiaries dealing with multi-headed creatures are part of a Inter yeah, of course. Library. So we're going to have to go I'm to like three different the libraries. Seek is likely one of those to have made its way to Crocotopia's library. Yeah, see, see they don't want to make this easy on us, do they? You no. You need. Not all. Okay, well, off to go see um Zane. Okay, guys, I'll bring you back when I get there. Here you go, guys, Zane. A volume about Orthrus, the two-headed brother to Cerberus? <laughs> bad news. Indeed, such He's a good volume give me is bad familiar news. to me. But alas, I have bad news for you. Okay. That volume was one of a rotating selection <laughs> recently sent along to the <laughs> Royal Museum Pembroke. in Marleybone. Speak to Clancy Pembroke at the museum. He should be able to get the volume to you. My sincerest apologies for the inconvenience. Okay, guys, I'll see you when I see Clancy. Okay, guys, there is Clancy Pembroke. Let's talk to him. <sighs> You've come a long way from Wizard City, young wizard. You're looking for a book about two-headed two dogs. dogs? What an amazing coincidence. Oh, that's fantastic. I just packed up those books a few <laughs> hours ago and sent them back to the... Normally, I'd have needed to take them and mail them myself. But since you helped out at the Molly Book, so you've come all this way for nothing, I'm afraid. At least you didn't have to go to Mushu, eh? Check back at the Wizard uh, City Library for your He's a comedian. Okay, Russell, guys. Arkansas, when I get back to Harold, I'll let now. you know. Hey, guys, we're back, so let's try this again. Hello there. You're just the wizard I wanted to see. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to note that the book you wanted just arrived. I've got it right here. I set it aside for you. Drake sent any more students after it. Thank you. You accept the book from Harold Argleston. 
The title is Mulder's Cryptozoological Gosh, Survey after that, you think they give me a spell just after all that. And their influence in folklore, myth, and popular culture. Up through Ot. How many of these multi-headed dogs are there anyway? Seriously. Okay, let's go talk to Cyrus. Be back in a second. Well, it's Here we go, Cyrus. Took you long enough. You can use that desk over there to prepare your report. Oh, wow. I actually have to sit at a desk? You crack the book and get to work. After a long uh -huh. time reading and writing, you've completed the report. Never had to do this After before. so much adventure, it feels a little strange to actually be doing homework. In this place, yes it does. Okay, Cyrus, here you go. What is it now? Professor Drake seems almost annoyed that you've completed your report. He's annoyed no he matter what. <laughs> and sets it on his desk. Great explanation. This will do. The content was acceptable, but your Penmanship is appalling. Oh well. Now what are you gonna you've do? Demonstrated you know what Orthrus is. It's time for the real work to begin. Whatever. Since you're no doubt an expert yes, on Orthrus. I am an expert now. You might be able to guess what the next obstacle is. Let's do. Young wizard. A young wizard? I wonder if you even read your own report. If you're going to okay, be summoning so two-headed authors, collars. you're going to mm. need to get the dog's collars. And it's rumored that the last such collars Dragon Spire. were lost Go in figure. Dragon Spire. It's up to you to venture into Dragon Spire and find a suitable pair of collars for Orthrus if okay. you plan on summoning Sounds them. good. My recommendation would be to start at the Athenium to determine where such collars might be found. Okay. Talk to Milos Bookworm. So he far so good. We can actually get to that part of Dragon Spire, guys. So as soon as I get to Dragon Spire and talk to Milos, I will be back. Okay, guys, here we are, Milos. Why, hello there, young wizard. By the uh -huh. great dragon's shiny scale, this place never seemed as busy as when it lies in ruins. I hope I can help you. Okay. But I warn you <laughs> that things are in a bit of a shambles. A twin collar for yes, a demon Yes, that's what dog? we need, twin collar. Obviously, collared. there's nothing like that here in the Athenium. However, okay. you're in luck. Or at least something close to lucky. Ranulf Moonclaw, okay. a collector of rare beasts. Good, good, good. And a few two-headed pets over the years. I suspect that Ranulf and his menagerie met their in okay. in his tower. Though this ghost-haunted place might make the search a perilous one. Very good, very good. So that is all the advice I can give you. Go to the tower of Ranulf Moonclaw and see if a suitable collar for your two-headed demon dog Orthrus can be found therein. You can find Moonclaw's oh, tower in the labyrinth. In the labyrinth. Okay, guys. Well, that's what we need to know. The Rat Labyrinth is where we got to go, but unfortunately, we haven't opened up the Labyrinth. The good news is we got the quest, so now when we go into the Labyrinth, we don't have to do it twice. Um, a lot of times you get this quest after you do the Labyrinth, so then you have to go and do the Labyrinth a second time. But hey, how that's how things go sometimes. So let's get back into focus here. We have to actually finish our application process so we can get in to the... Um, to the labyrinth. So we gotta go talk to Maverick Flame Wing in the Plaza of the Conquest. I'll be back as soon as I catch up to her. Here's Mavra. So, you come to learn the greatest oh, yes. art. The art of war. You got it. You don't look very impressive. Oh, that's but okay. I'm hoping that you've got some hidden I'm reserve than you think. of strength. I'm the very master good. of defense here okay. in Dragon's. A shield is just as much a weapon as the sword. You need to think of defensive magic okay. as another form of attack. You can't rely at all on okay. one kind of defense. You must be quick to change tactics. Okay, based, based on, on what's what happening. Oh, yeah, she's talking about defensive. Think of it as a game of battle. I could spend years teaching you. Very about good. Let's defense, get through it. Let's get through but it. Time is short. If you haven't grasped the basics, you're hopeless. Meet me in my tower, and we'll see what Great. you picked up. We're going to get in here, and then we're going to see what we picked up. Okay, this is a fun little battle here, guys. She's trying to teach us some defense, so we have to show her that we can deal with um, and with enemies that are very defensive in nature. Don't get so, cocky, young wizard. Here we go. You've Look, she has those protection box. But what happens when you cannot land an attack on your opponent? Defense is the key to survival. So she says. Defend so she yourself. says. So we got these guys that are problem, and they're going to be throwing up shields like all the freaking time so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and quickly get some blades up and we're going to see if we can't go ahead and do a nice attack that's going to wipe them out 
Yep, there we go. Negative 50% shield already. But what, what they know, what they don't know is that we've got, yeah, see, that's the problem. Is they're going to be putting them on her. So what we have to do is we have to go ahead and destroy both of these guys right here. Now, the fact one of them is shielding him and the other, I mean, it's just, it's just a mess. They're, they're just a mess. Okay, so what I would like to do, because they're just going to be popping shields on left and right here, just like that. See how they're doing that? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our AoE. I'd rather get on Earthquake ready to go because there'll be a better chance of us blowing out one of them. So we're going to go ahead and see how long, see how quickly we can get a knockout. Um, let's see, Earthquake was not in my deck. There is, there it is. Very good. And because they only got 785, but that guy's only going to take half damage. Um, she's only going to take half damage for us. See, look, I mean, and we got to use Earthquake anyways. That way we can knock out all the shields everywhere. So no matter how many they put on her, and they're getting ready to put a whole bunch on her, we can take them out. So here's the thing, is we need to get a really big hit. So what we're going to do to do that uh -huh, is um, we're going to go ahead and wait, get one more blade. Yeah, because I can get one more blade. We're going to throw one more blade up, guys. And with that third blade, we, I hope, with a maybe we can generate a big enough attack to destroy the protection box there, you know, because that's what has happened. And Earthquake, we actually have an advantage as a Myth Wizard here with Earthquake because Earthquake can help us knock out this situation. Just don't remember how many blades I got on me yet. Okay, very, very good. Yep, he's going to throw another shield up Ooh, right there on that guy. I mean, this real this fight isn't really that hard. She will start hitting you with some pretty, pretty heavy duty um storm hits and stuff. But for the most part, these guys are just going to keep putting shields up after shields up after shields. So you've got to generate enough. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for this myth blade. Okay, and I think I'm going to put the bubble up just to make sure because we got to see if we can wipe out both of those pox. One is already going down. That's not a problem. But I want to make sure we can wipe out the second one as well. Up oh, here it goes. I think he's gonna cast a shield. Yeah. And I was also letting my pips get up so we can like do a one-two punch with it pretty quick. There you go, Gus. You bring it in. Fantastic. Okay. And yeah, let's throw the bubble up. That's gonna just gonna hedge our bets a little bit because I'm gonna be out of I'm not gonna have any blades left on me. Yeah. I think it's time for me to start counterattacking since she is actually coming out of her her little hovel there. Oh, now that's a problem. Because <laughs> he just got 50 and 50. So hopefully we can critical on this hit and take out this pox. But I've got a secondary hit ready to go, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, very, very good. Let's wipe out all their shields. And we also got, I forgot, we got, um, we do have an advantage with our Minotaur because he'll be able to wipe out any shields left over with the first hit if we decide to go that route. Jeez. I forgot how crazy they are with the shields with this. Absolutely insane. Okay, let's go ahead and clear the deck. Well, that's not going to work. Let's try that again. Let's go ahead and clear the deck here, guys. I hope everybody's been having a good week. I want to take this moment just to remind you guys, I do stream four times a week. I stream every Tuesday night, and I stream usually with one of my other wizards, but that is always Wizard 101 night. Friday night, I either do Minecraft, Wizard 101, or some other games, just kind of pens, and you guys are welcome to come in on Friday nights. Sun Sunday afternoons, I'm always playing Minecraft. That's my Minecraft afternoon day. And then, usually on Sunday nights, but sometimes later in the week, I have a collaboration stream with Temperix, in which we're doing a Fire and Myth Wizard, and we're having a lot of fun with that. So I just want to remind you guys, um, catch some of my streams. If you enjoy the content here on YouTube, catch us up, catch us on um, Twitch. You know, link's in the description. We'd love to have you guys there, and that's just a big reminder. Okay, so let's see. Do we get both of them? Yes, we got both of them. Heck, we almost destroyed Maver too. <laughs> Look at all that. Da -da -da, da -da -da. This is why Earthquake's such a great tool. You know, especially, you know, 
Now, of course, some people don't like it in PvP. We'll just finish her off with a set of ninja picks here and call it done. It didn't take that long to do her. Oh, no, not at all. Okay, and bam, just like that, let's finish this fight off. Well, apparently not just like that, but that's okay. Let's try it again. My goodness, some people just don't want to die. Oh, this is getting serious now. She's got some hits coming. Ah, that's one of the reasons why you want to go ahead and get your, um, you want to go ahead and keep adding accuracy to your wizard as you move up. Because adding accuracy to your wizard can help solve the fizzle issue. Jeez, I hate fizzles. But you know what? We're at, um, you know, we've added 14%, so we're getting close to 100% accuracy. So hopefully that will become a thing of the past here pretty quick. And just like that, guys, we got it. Okay, let's go talk to Mavra. She's going to tell us good news that she is going to endorse us. Let's make sure, right? I'm impressed. You've got Very an nice. instinct for saving I like her outfit. Hide. She's kind of cute. That's a good thing. Surviving oh, yeah. a battle is the most important part. Very good. Alrighty, so I'm going to go catch up with Laszlo. I'll be back here in just a minute, guys. Hey guys, here's Laszlo. The master of defense is a harsh task, master. But if you're here now, it means you yes. learned something. Good. You're not finished uh -oh. yet. Oh, I need to get to the Even labyrinth. Even the strongest warrior cannot squeeze blood from a stone, but a student who is okay. wise can get knowledge from a statue. Let's do something. This statue is one of our greatest enemies, Garok Shaleheart. He and his army of earth elementals. Okay, so we're playing an elemental. Fantastic. On the plane of shattered Very good. And for uh -huh. that, we honor him among our own. Very good. You must summon and defeat Garok's okay. greatest champion Sounds in combat good. to show that you're capable of upholding the proud military tradition of Dragon Spot. Go to the Not crystal a problem. stand and place this crystal upon it. Concentrate for a moment. The spirit stored within it will then manifest in physical. Very, form. very good. Okay, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and summon. This guy right here should be a golem. Let's go ahead and do it. Wow, that was fast. Whew. Okay, so this is going to be an easy strategy. Let's go ahead and knock out... Well, we got pigs. Everybody's ready for the magic of pigs? We're about to do the magic of pigs. I love this place. The Plaza Conquest is one of the... Is another cool part of Dragon Spire. See, I think that's one of the things that Dragon Spire did really, really well when they built it. Although, you know, I get kind of tired of the gloom myself, you know, and the color, and I really don't like the colors so much. Like, I, you know, I'm sure the lava doesn't help with it either, and the dark skies and everything. But one of the things I think the Dragons they did really good with Dragon Spire is make these epic plazas. You know, like we the first one we saw in the Tower Archives was definitely pretty awesome. Um, where we got to see the big crystals and how they were focused on um, and how we got them to focus to create a gate. That was a pretty cool place. Then we've got the Plaza of Conquest down here with all the statues of all the different foes they fought where you can like summon them and refight them again. And this is the, I guess, I guess that's kind of the theme of Dragon Spires. Every little section has one of these really grand um, plaza areas where just all sorts of awesome things are looking down at you while you are in here fighting to the fighting to overcome and show that you have the skills needed to be successful so I mean that's cool I, I love this one you got all the statues hanging around and you got the big crystal thing in the center you know that's one of the cool things about Dragon Spire is all that now one of the now earlier if you guys were watching when we picked up the Orthrus quest um, one of the things we got to do is we got to find our way into um, the labyrinth. And that's unfortunately not going to be at least for another two sections, I think. I think after this, we got to go deal with, um, we got to go deal with um, some timey whiny stuff, okay, um, over in the chasm. Yeah, that's where that is. And we also have to go ahead, and I think there's at least another section or two before we get to that. So unfortunately, you know, the way they set up, to get this level 48 spell, you have to have access to the Labyrinth here in Dragonspire. And so if you've been like, you know, leveling ahead like I do, doing all my side quests and everything, that kind of puts you at a disadvantage. Okay, guys, so I think we're in a good position to finish this fight. Let's see if Ninja Pigs will... Did you see that? They just threw a weakness on us. Hey, uh, and we fizzled. Yeah, this is where I really could use a cleanse. Maybe I'll start packing a cleanse in my TC deck. I don't know. I mean, 
I've been using a cleanse a lot with my other wizard because my storm wizard, they get cleansed naturally, and that were, and that really does help you out a lot in storm, especially in the higher level dungeons where they tend to knock, you know, things like negative 75% weakness on you or, or sometimes worse. So that cleanse has been very, very useful. But yeah, I didn't get critical, did we? Okay, so we're not done with this fight. We gotta get serious now. But I think the Ninja Pig will definitely, um, definitely do some weakening there. Okay, so 1170. Let's throw up two blades and let's get this guy done because we still got, we still got an ace in our deck here, and that's gonna, that's gonna help. Are you kidding me? A little Twinkie there. Okay. That's the down part about fighting those life opponents, always trying to heal themselves. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring back this, and should we go ahead and do one more blade? I say for security's sake, let's do one more blade, but I think we can totally finish him off with the Minotaur. Not a problem. Oh, Leprechaun incoming. Do -do -do. Not a problem. Now you'll notice probably my biggest weakness in fights is that I tend to over over um, enchant. Yeah, I tend to over enchant. A lot of times um, I over enchant. I don't um, don't take the shot when I could probably finish it. And I could probably complete it early. But as you saw earlier, I, I the only thing I didn't add was one trap, and unfortunately that did not win us for us. So that trap could have been the one. Maybe I should have put that trap on. Yeah, I was just talking about my problem is sometimes I over-enchant. I didn't over-enchant last time. There we go. Finished by Big Guy. Fantastic. Okay. We we got our Earth Elemental, and this is fantastic, guys. We are now this much closer. This much closer to being there. But, unfortunately, guys, this is all the time I have in this episode. So, guys, I will go see you again in a couple days and we're going to continue this quest because we will get entrance to the academy that's what we're shooting for guys can't wait to see it this is kimmy say playing here in troll caller here at the myth myth oh what do we call it playthrough and i hope you guys have a great day Bye bye